Hey guys, what of Dust Gaming here, and today I wanna show you the first match that I ever played with Dio Chan, and I think it's worth uploading it. Um, to be fair, she didn't impress me that much, and I know that the Dio Chan hardcore ultras out there will say, you are an idiot, you played her completely wrong, but as I have to say, I play a lot of different heroes, and I play a lot of different games and I always try something new. So this is the Dio Chan attempt and um, she didn't surprise me. Like I have played her before, as you can see, I'm still on the beginner's level, but I knew what to expect. I have seen Dio Chan's being able to rip apart single teams barehanded. And I'm not a Dio Chan player, so this is like a beginner's approach to Dio Chan. So don't judge too harsh on me. Uh, don't be too harsh with your judgment because I am new to Dio Chan. I just want to give her some playtime. I want to show you guys who are thinking about buying some new heroes, buying some old heroes. Um, Giving you some kind of overview, showing you some uh, gameplay, some abilities, some limitations, so that you can actually make a choice on what hero you're going to buy next. And I gotta say, you will have a hard time um, playing Dio Chan if you did not level her up, if her equipment is kind of um, underwhelming. Like, um, First thing is like, you need to predict the movement of your opponent. As you can see, I am pretty bad at that. Like, um, Ross is able to outplay me because of his mobility, because of his uh, uh, his stuff, his abilities and his mobility. Ross is a really mobile hero, so this is kind of um, the worst opponent that you can actually face in my opinion like this is a video based on my opinion so you guys are facing something that you will not expect if you are playing Dio Chan on a highly um, super cool level like I'm able to get out of here but he is always threatening me quite much and as you can see my abilities don't even do that much damage to him and that said like He's paper thin, like he doesn't have any armor at this point of the game. He doesn't build any magic resistance and I have built um, like full ability power. I've got Devour, um, I've got Hex and I've got all that stuff that you need to kind of throw out much damage. But still, it's kind of, you're just poking and it, for, for the rest player, it basically just feels like, yeah, you have touched him with your ability but you're not really doing that much to him this is going to change throughout the game and that's uh, important she seems to be in my opinion not a hero that you can play that easily like she's not something that you're going to pick up and you will execute it lightly um, you need some practice you need some time with her and look at that like when you are able to strike with your with your two, which is some kind of slow stuff, um, you're going to freeze enemies, you're going to stun them, then things are going to change and things are starting to make fun. But before you do that, if you don't um, read the movement of your enemy, you are just there to kind of poke it lightly and things are not going to be in your favor. And there are much stronger mid lane heroes who are able to dish out more damage. And this is just something that you should keep in your mind if you want to play Dio Chan. And if you have more games with her, you will you will be better. Like um, that's not even that's not even a question. That's not even something that people can't understand. Like of course if you know a hero if you know the abilities, if you know the cooldown times, things are going to be more smoothly, things are going to be a much easier stuff to do. But as I'm new to Dio Chan, I've played a couple of times in, in the, like casual matches, I've played her a couple of times um, in the hero trial, so I kind of, like I barely know what she's able to do. I, as I said, I played her against her and I had MVP Dio Chan's. And in the opposing team, like I had people who were actually able to 
get the maximum out of her, but I'm not that person. So this is going to be some kind of um, like a poor approach on checking out what she's able to do. So don't take that as a pro guide. Like this is not what I'm trying to sell to you. I'm just trying to sell something which is more some kind of an overview. And as you can see, like that at the moment that you start to scale up and your abilities land, like your control lands, your damage stuff lands, things are going to be more easy and things are going to start to make fun. You will see that in the video that I can actually do something. This is like a perfect, <clears throat> a perfect situation. We've got um, Xanus who's quite low and I'm able to um, land a couple of hits like I will be able to land a couple of hits and now I'm going to use my stuff I'm using my ult um, there we go first kill for Diochan look at that like now I start to do some damage but it does take me some time and it does take me some approach now he's even dead but my mana has run out so you have to be careful about that and there we go that's an that's a dead rust like you can you can make her work you just have to be careful that's what what I see from from the video that I have been have been capturing for you guys um, she's just kind of strategically like that's a hero that you need to um, pay more attention about what you're facing um, the enemy composition and your positioning is really important because she doesn't have any escape mechanism like Diochan is about control and she's about damage and you're going to see that in the video like you are going to see what she can do like she does do really good amounts of damage like she's not a Vera where you can just press buttons and the enemy hero is killed but as soon as you start to stack up as soon as your abilities are kind of getting better and better you will see that she's actually able to deal Tremendous amounts of damage, but you have to play her right and this is another situation where I'm not able to play her Right, I, I flick in the wrong direction. I try to use one of my skills and I have to apologize to my team here That's what I do like I'm a really I think I'm a really nice player um, So I'm telling my team like I'm not using her that often I've got German still in my keyboard So this is often and this doesn't make any sense. So I'm trying to retype it, but it's it's just like I don't have any practice on her, so you need some practice to make her work. And I don't have the feeling that she's a really, really bad champion. I just have the feeling that you need more playtime, more practice with her in order to make her work instead of overpowered heroes such as... Um, like Darcy is complicated as well. Like Darcy is not a hero that you can take easily. Yeah, but look at that, like... I got one bad movement and lucky for us the, the the butterfly just makes that kill she's able to get out here um, Wonder Woman comes in she's got loads of sustain if she is able to hit her ultimate and she's doing a really good job on defending that tower here but nonetheless Dio Chan experience that's key to success and I will write that later. That Talonas is awesome. Like, I don't know how you can play Talonas that well. Like, might be might be the skin, might be the confidence that you get from having a really nice skin, such as that FFX something wish that uh, everyone wants to have, but you have to play a lot of games and you have to play a lot of money in order to make it work. And I'm, I don't even know why I'm pressing the button here for the ult, but of course, Xanus kills me pretty easily. That's what he does. He's a mage slash AD carry marksman killer. So this is just a kill that could have been avoided. But then I am stupid. Like the the, the problem that you have with uh, Diochan is there is no escape mechanism. Like your abilities are your escape mechanism and your two takes quite a while before it hits the enemy there's like this short cooldown um, that you have to keep in mind that you have to pay attention to if you want to make her work so you have to you have to have more prediction 
And as soon as team fights like this start to start to work out, like that was a Ross kill. There's a Xanus kill. And I have just scored a double kill because my team was actually there. So team fights are really something that works in your favor. Like as soon as there's a team fight and your team is able to distract the enemy, you're good to go. Like um, that double kill, that was a mix between the uh, abilities that our Talonas has as well as my stuff. Like that could have been a kill for me, but then I wasn't able to pull it off. Um, doesn't really matter because it's a team game. So you want to you wanna play as a team and as stronger your Talonas gets, the better it is for the team. So obviously you just want to work that out. But um, as I said, like you have to predict the movement of the enemy because of that cooldown. And this is going to be my death. Like I'm going to die here. Good thing is I'm able to uh, kill Xanus here. So I'm sitting on a 5-4, which I think is pretty decent for me. Not playing Dino Chan that much, so I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty worked out around this, but still for you pro guys watching my videos, you will say Void was was that like what did you think? And, and I was checking like who is the best player in the game at the moment, and I'm just like that this is the, the stuff that I said, like Tal is 9-0, like she's doing an awesome job. Look at that. Rock bam 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 bam. She's doing the stuff. Uh, Grok will be killed pretty soon like she's carrying that game and she does it really really well like There are not that many players who can carry a game like that on the platinum level And this is just for you guys who have seen the other videos that I've posted during this week I have played a couple of games against um, like lower players so this is a platinum game like players do know what to do um, and I'm kind of stuck in that position because I want to show you guys some new gameplay. I want to show you guys some new heroes. And I know that I haven't played Diochan. And at this point, I make sure that I'm not killing the Dark Slayer. Like, I want to give that choice to our Butterfly. Because she should basically tr try to maximize the effect of that Dark Slayer Dragon. And we're doing a pretty good job on pushing in. We've got... We've got... Um, We've got Talonas on our side. She has been doing so much damage. And right now, like, this is the time where Dear Chan shines. Like, if you are able to pull off something, if you are able to have a team fight where you can just lay down layers of stuff. 7-4, like, this was another Dear Chan stuff. And this is how it works. Like, team fights are really something that you can use in your favor to score kills. And you just have to play her a little bit more carefully as you would do with other heroes because she's squishy and she doesn't have any escape mechanism. And that is my Diochan review. Like this is the stuff that I want to tell you guys if you are thinking about what hero should I buy next. Um, that was my Diochan review and you can just tell by yourself if you want to buy her or not. I think she should be pretty cheap. Here you can see the... The total stuff that I was doing and if you like videos like that if you want to see more reviews just subscribe to my channel and everything will be all right thank you guys bye bye